Hello everybody, and this video will be a short one, it's uh, like an extra video for our, our devlog about weapons, abilities and the ability editor. Mm, I will show you all of the weapon classes, uh, explain how the weapon works. Uh, this is a follow-up to our latest devlog about the melee weapons, uh, but we didn't have a video then, so this is like an update for that as well. We have divided all of the weapons in Elder's Blood into five weapon classes. There will be probably more, but so far we have five weapon classes. All of the hunters on the screen are equipped with a weapon from a different weapon class to show you the differences, the roles of these weapons, and all of the special features. Okay, so quickly explain what are the weapon classes. These are like big categories of weapons. Uh, that divide all of the available uh, tools of combat in Elder's Blood into roles. So, for example, weapon class Axe, there will be like plenty of different types of axes, but all of the axes will feature a high damage value, while, for example, the weapon class Greatsword will feature an area of effect. There will be differences between specific weapons in a weapon class, but the main role should persist. Okay, so let's show you some of this, this weapon. So let's start with an axe. As I said before, axes deal very high damage. The attacks of the axes cost two action points. So this is the only thing you'll be able to do. Like, the small enemies are no match for you, but you won't be able to do anything else. The great swords. All of these weapons will feature some type of area of effect attacks. These shapes will differ with different uh, greatswords. They are good at dealing with lots of weaker enemies like these two hounds here. Uh, some of these might have some special effects, status effects or just uh, damage so they are good at spreading them on the battlefield. Uh, but uh, as, as the axes they use the actions to use, so you need to be careful when you want to engage with a greatsword. Blades. This weapon class will feature all of the one-handed weapons, uh, not only short swords, but also some uh, smaller axes, hatchets and strange exotic weapons from the east. The, the attack uh, takes only one action, but it also doesn't break your activation, so you may spread your attacks or you may knock down a character and then make a finisher this is something that you wouldn't be able to do with other hunters they their attack sends their activation and you need to make the finisher with, with a different one long firearms will include uh, shotguns rifles carbines uh, all of these weapons uh, have one main feature that puts them into this one category of weapons this weapon class it's that they are loud. This rifle features this special ranged combat UI. So you can then change your targets here and then and when you're ready you click OK and you shoot. So as you can see I made a lot of sound and now the enemies will come and attack me. So you need to be extra careful with with using rifles, as, uh, as, as this will draw a lot of attention of the enemies, and this is not exactly what you what you want. <laughs> uh, rifles also feature the ammo capacity, so each of these weapons can have different magazines, and when you run out of ammo, you need to spend an action or two, it depends on the weapon really, uh, to reload your gun. This is also true with, uh, with the harpoons, another weapon class. So you not only harpoon launcher, this is a stealth range weapon. Careful also when you're reloading that. Most of the harpoons, if not all, uh, are, are quiet weapons. So in contrast to the rifles, they do not make sound when attacking enemies. These are great to reduce the stamina on, on the enemies. So harpoons are great at knocking down targets or killing them instantly and stay out of sight. As you can see I haven't drawn attention of the, of the enemies. There will be many types of these harpoons, like explosives ones, uh, featuring all types of different effects, so this is like a special firearms 
class coloring system so each time you change a weapon within the weapon class the the colors will change you know so it will be easier for you to spot what what type of weapon in this weapon class you're actually holding especially when you have two hunters equipped with the with the same weapon class right this is a part of a coloring system that we'll be talking uh, later with a, with a different uh, with different update uh, so stay tuned for that okay i think i think that's all uh, what i wanted to say i hope that you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more updates on elder blood